Carlos Ramirez, owner of NVS Audio in Roselle, New Jersey. Today, we're gonna make a quick video on the XL on the XL Customs, the Lex Rack for the 15 up Road Glide. So my bike had this version of the rack, and we we're able to do a 1600.1 and a 1200.4 Sound Digital Evo X2. Uh, my bike has no tour pack, so I want it to go bigger in the fairing. So I want it to be able to fit a 3000.1 and uh, 1202 and an 804 all in the fairing, no tour pack. Lexus new rack allows us to do that. So I wanted to start fresh, so I ordered a new radio bracket from the dealer, brand new. I'm gonna show how to initially cut this bracket to install the first version of the rack because you'll need this then you add the top plate on top of it. So a lot of people have been reaching out to me, so I'm gonna be more detailed in this video. When they cut the rack, they leave too much material on this corner here, and then it ends up hitting the amplifier, which won't allow the headlight to go all the way up, which won't allow the fairing to close. So I'm gonna be very detailed when I draw it out, and I'm gonna show you that after we cut this here, we go back and we grind this completely flat. So it's the area right here, this little corner, directly under the radio. There can't be any burr, any piece sticking out because you need every available centimeter of space in order for the fairing to close and the headlight to go back in place. So if you've installed the Lex Rack and you're having a problem closing it or getting your headlight back in, go back and check that area right here. You'll know because there's gonna be a mark on top of the amplifier. As soon as you go to screw it in, that uh, the piece of metal that you left behind ends up stabbing the top of the amplifier. So I'm gonna go ahead and re-show you how to cut this. And this time we're gonna use a cutoff wheel. I normally use a saw saw. I started using the cutoff wheel because that's what Lex recommends. And there's a lot less vibration and shaking and uh, it minimizes the chance for you breaking the factory weld because this piece gets really thin right here in the back corner. So we're gonna jump into it. So we're gonna start by drawing our cut line. So we're gonna come under here, under the radio bracket. We're gonna loop around right through this hole right here, that hole right there. You don't wanna cut all the way back to here because this will break the weld and the rack will come apart and you will have to weld it. So you wanna come across here, the bottom radio line through this hole. Then you wanna come down and then along this back edge, along this back edge, and flat. So you're taking it across here, through here, up, you're not gonna go all the way back, up to the circle here, up to here, and across. Like that, 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 like this, and flat. We're gonna go ahead and cut that. I'm using my trusty jaw horse to hold this in place. If you don't have one of these, you should definitely get one. It's like a heavy duty vice. This thing will hold the door, a metal bracket, you step on it, holds it tight. You hit the release, you step on it, it releases it. I've been using these things for years, I love them.
nice clean cut. Now we just gotta grind it flat. Now that it's all cut, I'm gonna switch over from my cutter to my grinder and smooth it out.
Okay, so that's the way it should look like when it's cut. If you notice, the factory weld is still attached here. I came across here, went flat here. And I spent most of my attention grinding that flat. This is a trouble spot here on both sides. So I made sure that was completely flat and I'll show you why in a minute. If you're doing a 15 and up road glide, this is a 1200.4 and you notice there's absolutely no room between the amplifier and the rack. There's like an eighth of an inch. So you cannot let anything overhang this corner or the headlight will not go back in place. So you see how we have the headlight bolted. You see how the rack is right to the top of the headlight and the amplifier has less than an eighth inch of room in this corner. The back tapers back, so it gets bigger in the back. That's no big deal. But right here is the crucial part. You have to make sure that is flat. So if you grind those two corners nice and flat, you have plenty of room and your headlight goes in no problem. That's the way it should look when it's cut. Nothing hanging over here. Nothing hanging over here. Now we're gonna hit it with some black spray paint to keep it from rusting. let that dry and we'll hit it with a second coat. That's what the final cutoff piece should look like. So straight, rounded at the hole and straight under the radio. Now, if we we're doing just the standard amp rack, that would be it. But since we're adding the plate, Since we're adding this plate, we're gonna have to cut the headlight tabs off so the plate can lay flat. So those have to get cut off, that way the plate can lay completely flat. We'll do that part now. Okay, now that our rack is nice and dry, so our Lex rack's been modified. That drops into place right there. And then the extended amp plate drops right in, right on top of it, like that. Now look how much room you've created. Only negative drawback is you have to remove the vents. It's the only way to create this much room. But uh, once you remove the vents, and we have the new uh, Dirty Bird block off plates. So we've removed the vents. We're gonna use the block off plates and that way you won't be able to see into the fairing. You won't see the amplifiers. So it blocks the front and it blocks the inner side and you have all this space. So Lex was able to squeeze two 3000s and a 2400. I don't think we'll be doing anything that aggressive but it's nice to know you have the room for it. There's the factory radio bracket put back in place. Now we're going to install our Lex bracket using the factory bolts. When you're putting the radio bracket and the interfering back on, make sure these hook in. It's a mistake I used to make in the beginning. So see how those move around. Those hooks have to go in those two square slots or you're never gonna get that to line back up. Those two hooks right there. Make sure they fall in those slots. Okay, that's what the Lex rack looks like fully assembled. 
and with the vents removed, now the top plate slides right in place. Now see why the vents don't fit back in. But look at all that room. So we have the GTS radio in place. We have the vents removed. Sound digital 1200.2, 400.4, Hertz S8 DSP, 3000.1, completely wired. Radio plug fits perfectly.